In this video presentation, we're going to be looking at layer 3 of the OSI model, the networking layer. Now the networking layer defines end-to-end -end delivery of packets, defines logical addressing so that any endpoint can be identified, identifies how routing works and how routes are learned so that the packets can be delivered. The network layer also defines how to fragment a packet into smaller packets to accommodate different media. Routers and B routers operate at layer 3 or the networking layer of the OSI model. Now there are some newer type switches, a layer 3 switches that also reside here, but we're not concerned with those at this time. Now the primary protocols uh, that work at the networking layer are IP, IPX, and Apple Talk. But the primary protocol that we're concerned with when we talk about TCP IP is IP. Everything that we do on the network can be looked at as being in support of IP. Okay? IP is a routed protocol, which means that it's what allows the transmission of data from point A to point B. It's that protocol that we support when we're trying to do networking. Everything else is in support of it. TCP, which is basically the connection-oriented portion of TCP IP, is in support of IP. All right. What else does a networking layer do? Well, it also translates systems names into addresses, responsible for addressing, determining routes for sending, managing network traffic problems, packet switching, routing, data congestion, and reassembling of data. That all happens here at the networking layer. So it's a very important layer. Well, here's what you got to remember. IP works at the networking layer, as does IPX and Apple Talk. You got to remember what devices work at the networking layer. Routers, B routers. Those are the two primary devices that work at the networking layer. Now in our next video, we're going to take a look at the transport layer and what happens here.